All right, so this video will be showing you how to troubleshoot your control net network. If let's just say you were trying to reschedule your network, you could not reschedule it, or you had a conductivity issue, you pulled up RS links and you could not see all your nodes. That means you have a cabling problem, whether somebody unplugged it or whether a cable is broke. And I'm gonna show you how to re read the resistance of the cabling system to make sure you have a good cable with a standard multimeter. Now they do make a tool for this, but generally speaking, we don't always have the tool. We have multimeters in the field and we have the resistance of the natural system. So in the event of this video, we'll be showing you how to actually go about troubleshooting the system in a natural environment of tools we actually have. Now, again, when it comes down to it, if you do have the tools, great. You don't probably need this video. This video may help you. But again, when it comes down to it, I'm going to show you the things that I learned as well. So this is an actual tech note that I found in Rockwell that helped me. Again, this got given to me from um, the actual chat session that I did with them. I did a phone session and we had a control net issue with our system. And this is how we found the problem is we went and looked in RS links and we could not see. We had like 12 nodes. When it comes down to it, we couldn't see but only two nodes. So that means we had a cabling problem, which was a huge network, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right, so with this said, this tells you how to read the resistance between the cabling, right? Now in this tech note, it's for everything, all their networks, control net. So right here, let me, let me show you this real quick. And this will be showing you, this is control net, device net, data highway and remote IO. We're going to do control net. So let's just say, for instance, our cable is here. What are we going to be reading from? Resistance to resistance. And we're going to be reading from the shield of the cable to the core of the cable. Now, if you dealt with device or control net before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's a terminating resistor right here and there's a terminating resistor right here. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this stuff out for you a little bit better, but as we go about doing this, I wanna show you how to measure this stuff. Note, they do talk about unplugging the actual connection, and these downloads will be, be below too, so you can have both of these files. Um, I'm trying to help you as much as possible troubleshoot your system, so these file, files will be below, but please watch this and make sure you get the, uh, the best practice on how to interpret this. So what should you be measuring from point to point? You should be measuring, and let me erase that because that was a poor circle I did there. So not a drawing expert. Um, when it comes to it, this right here, you should be reading your terminating resistor divided by two. So if you have a terminating resistor of 75 ohms, okay, you should be reading exactly 37.5 ohms. Now that's plus or minus a little bit of the cable resistance, small resistance from the cable itself, okay? Now, what should you be reading? Again, when it comes down to it, troubleshooting this, you have your resistance right here. Let's just say you have a direct short. All right, so if you read an absolute zero, you could have a direct short. If you read less than your terminating resistor divided by two, you could have an over termination. If you read the actual um, resistance right here, the actual uh, measurement, sorry about this, let me er er erase this so it's easier to see. Um, when it comes down to it, if you read the proper reading, which is your terminating resistor divided by two, which is again in our environment, that's gonna be 37.5, roughly speaking. If you read that, you have a good termination, then you need to check another point. Again, this is gonna be point to point from node to node. Um, this does actually tell you what we have here. You can see that this device net or control net, it's a fixed baud rate, it's 75 ohms, it's not applicable. This does actually give you tools and tips on how to do network or device net, data highway, different baud rates, remote IO, different baud rates. And again, when it comes to it, I'm also gonna give you this guide. So when it comes to it, let's just say we have an environment like we have right here, all right? So I had a control net network. I had a basically um, in this environment, I'm gonna show you exactly similar to what we had. We had a uh, 5700, um, uh, not a 5700, but a uh, 1756 um, processor, right? Our control rack right here. We had nodes up here. We have we had our uh, remote I/O nodes, one, two, and three, and we had other devices. This actually was a panel view, but this gives you. This is again, I'm using their PDF, so this is a great tool to use. Let's just say this is uh, node one. Uh, let's see. I pushed my pen. Node one. Node two. Node two, and this is node three. 
okay this is node 4 and in my environment um, I actually had like again I had about 12 nodes uh, when it comes down to it but keep in mind too the t-taps which are going to be taken loose you, what's probably not going to be failed is your connection here okay this connection here is probably what's failing okay so what you're testing in this integrity check is you're testing your cabling from the route it's going okay you're testing the cabling everywhere it goes the t-tap probably is not the problem there are pins inside the t-tap that sometimes get uh, that the pin has to set in that sometimes get spread so keep that in mind too to look out for that but when it comes to it I want you to understand how to troubleshoot the actual system so let's quickly go to OneNote and draw this out real quick alright so real simple let's draw a the cable okay so let's just say from point to point we're gonna have our cable we're gonna have our terminating resistor right and again I'm not a drawing expert so sorry about that uh, when it comes down to it we have our terminating resistor of 75 ohms alright so we have 75 ohms here and right here so what are we reading we're reading from node Okay, node to node. Okay, so from point to point. So from point to point, we're reading node to node to check the cable integrity to make sure the cabling is good. Because if we're, we're trying to look in, in, in RS links and we're trying to see all of our nodes, if we have node one, node two, node three, and node four, and we only see, let's just say we only see, you know, node one and node four. That means we have a cable problem. So what should we check? We should read between the shield, again, the shield, and the core of the cable. And again, if our, our we have everything taken loose, we have our T-taps taken loose, we have our, our when I say our T-taps taken loose, we have our T-tap going to our device taken loose. Note, if you do not disconnect your node, you will still read a direct short. So what do I mean by that? All right, so uh, if you have, let's just say node one, node two, two, node three, let's just, let's just do that. Let's just read four. Um, and let's just say this is node three right here. All right, so if we came down here and we had all these connected, all right, so in the T-taps right here, and I'm just gonna draw a box instead of drawing a T-tap because again, I'm just not that talented of drawing. That's as simple as it is. Come down here, you have your cabling, you have your cable here, here, to here. You wanna try to test and take these loose, okay? If you can, sometimes you can't take these loose, but note, you will have a direct short if you do, so, or if you don't. What I mean by that is you're going to be reading the node itself and that is a device and it's going to be giving you a false reading. So that's going to be reading a short if you have that connected. If you don't have that connected, you have your terminating resistor on this end, which is 75 ohms again. And you have generally off your T-tap down here, you have your terminating resistor as well, which is 75 ohms. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You're checking from point to point so we're checking from node to node right here okay this is what we're checking the cable integrity and please forgive my drawing because I'm not <laughs> that good at that but when it comes to it so if we have a good system and we have we let's just say we have a cable break in here and we read direct short from here to here and we replace the cable just, just like I did I had actually had a, a cable from node to node fail and we replaced the cable with a temporary cable just to check it, right? And then all of a sudden, we came back to RS Links and we said, let's check RS Links again. We should be reading, if we fix the problem, we should be reading node one, node two, node three, and node four. RS Links will see this no matter what, okay? I want you to know that. RS Links, from your computer that you're reading it from, in this case, I was my computer was reading it from Ethernet, so my computer was reading the connection through the Ethernet, and then uh, basically, oh, that's a terrible implementation, but the Ethernet through the backplane, 
and coming out of the actual uh, 7, uh, 1756 chassis, right? And that, that was reading my network, all right? So what I did is I came down here and read this, the whole system. I said, okay, well, I had a break in the system. I need to figure out where the break is. And then I went to each system in the node or checked all the nodes, took as much as I could loose. But luckily for me, what I did is I took as much as I could loose. And when I found from break to break, I was actually able to, to put a, a separate T-tap in the system, put a terminating resistor. I moved my terminating resistor from here to here to here to here to a different point each time and read the cable with a standard multimeter. And again, what you're gonna be reading is 37 point, whoop, 37.5 ohms, roughly. You're gonna have your cable resistance in there as well. So with that said, let's come over here. I'll talk about this a little bit more. Again, when you're reading this stuff, you're gonna come in, that's you're gonna be your system. Now, what, what are you actually reading? Again, you're coming in, you're gonna, oh, let's just see if we got the cable end right here anywhere in this guide I'm sure it does all right in the terminating system right here 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 we go all right so right here and I want to show you this you're going to be reading from here to here this is the core of the cable to the actual shield of the cable okay and you're going to roughly be reading anywhere between here and here so let's erase this right here so let's erase all of this stuff right here and come over here we're gonna be reading from here to here and again so we're gonna have our meter from uh, one end hooked here one end hooked here standard multimeter okay so and your resistance is gonna be in there so you're gonna have your terminating resistor on um, that's a, a sorry way to draw that so uh, let's come over here and so let's just say you have your terminating resistor uh, of 75 ohms connected you're going to be reading here you should be reading what 37.5 ohms roughly okay you're going to have you're going to have the actual cable resistance in there as well it's going to roughly be in there but if you reading here's the good point to this if you're reading zero ohms you have a direct short that means this cable is bad pull a temporary cable test it out make the connections and again that will fix the problem Again, if you have a cable problem, that's very common to have. Okay, so, but both of these, uh, these actual PDFs will be listed below. I'll have this downloaded. Hopefully this helped you. Again, I didn't find any, any helpful things on the internet when I was troubleshooting this, and I want to give you a proper implementation of really what I did to fix it. And hopefully I, I did a good job at least passing that information on. Uh, again, when it comes down to it, some of this stuff is a little bit tricky to do if you can't actually see it physically, but understanding these tech notes does actually help you if, you're, if somebody's guiding you, telling you, hey, read the, sh read the shield to core, you should be reading a certain amount of resistance, and uh, oh, by the way, here are the PDFs. So the downloads will be below in the show notes below, so please uh, download those. Those are completely, uh, they should go directly to your download folder, so if you don't see them, they're very quick. They will go directly to your download folder. So if the download, you feel like it doesn't work, check your download folder, make sure they, they are in that. Because again, I've had absolutely no problem. I use the quickest thing that you can possibly, uh, I can store my files in. But again, this helps you got, you know express where the, the actual system is or, or where the files are. They'll be in the show notes below. Hopefully they help you. They won't have all this draw, you know drawing and stuff on there. So that, none of that will be on there. You'll have to do that yourself. So hopefully you can print it out. Use this as a guide to help you troubleshoot your system. Again, hopefully this is helpful. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.